Hey everyone, it's Jim again from Fly Ohio. So I kind of did a thing. I bought a new toy for Six Zero Uniform. The reason I'm doing this is because I haven't found a whole lot of information on YouTube as far as user reviews or anything. So I went ahead and I bought a JPI Fuel Scan FS450 for my 64172E. As you can see, I'm like a kid in a candy shop. UPS guy brought the package for me this afternoon, so I had to open it. Trying to figure out why the hell they sent it in such a big box. Get that out of the way. Um, found out the reason was I ordered the free catalog from Aircraft Spruce, thinking it was going to be a small one, say like Sporty's Pilot Shop size. No, this thing's a damn phone book. I think it has every freaking thing on their website in here. So, might come in handy, might not. Might just be an oversized paperweight, but I guess it's nice to know that I have it. So anyway, here's what we got. I thought I'd just do a quick unboxing video, because like I said, I had a hard time finding any reviews on YouTube about this thing. JPI does have a couple good short videos in regards to functionality and uh, programming the unit. So I'll put a link in the description below if anybody wants to uh, look at those. And then uh, also I'll put a link uh, to JPI for the fuel scan 450. I picked this one up at uh, Aircraft Spruce for $5.29. That included free shipping. And it was actually here in like two days' time. So, let's get this out. And I apologize, I'm doing this one handed, using one hand to hold the phone. So, in the packaging there, we have the pilot's guide, registration card the installation manual, your typical uh, heat our urgent warnings so that we're not liable for your screw-up messages. Uh, and then also in here, I don't like the way they did this. I would have preferred full-size paperwork. But this little booklet, so there's your STC certificate. And then included on the inside is your AML. So uh, if you do get one of these, be sure you don't toss this one out. You just might be up a creek without a paddle. So, let's see, we also have the fuel transducer itself. This is the all important part that's going to monitor your fuel usage through the fuel line. Cabling from the back of the unit to the transducer. And I'm, uh, I'm not very mechanically inclined, so if anybody wants to refresh my memory as to what this thing is, my best guess is that that's some sort of a thermal protective cover for either the wiring or the fuel transducer. Um, like I said, just a wild guess, so if anybody knows for sure, leave me a comment and let me know. And then, at least, but I can get it out of the box. Bear with me one second. There, I made that out to be much harder than it really was. So, and then there we have the actual panel mount mounted unit itself. Um, I do not have a panel mounted GPS, but for those of you that are wondering, um, if you have a RS-232 capable GPS, and there's a couple other protocols for 
panel mount units and also uh, handheld units, you can connect this to your GPS and you can receive your waypoint information to the unit. And it will give you fuel required and fuel remaining to your next waypoint or destination. Um, like I said, at this time, I don't have a panel mount GPS. Um, mine being an older airplane, I don't really know that it's worth the money. Um, I really don't have 12 grand to spend for a new GPS Navcom. And I'm weighing the decision about spending five or six grand on an older unit, say like a GNS 430. I just don't know if it would be worth it or not. So that might happen sometime down the road. So if any of you guys have a uh, old 430 maybe laying around in the hangar collecting dust, if you want to give me a good deal on it, shoot me a message. So anyway, uh, airplane's going to the mechanic on the 28th of June. I'm going to have it installed. It's going to take a couple days for the installation. Um, one thing that does not come in the kit that the mechanic warned me about is it does not have the metal fit fittings for either side of the transdu transducer that goes to the fuel line so he is going to have to order those and he said more than likely he's going to have to do some small rework on the fuel line itself so uh sometime early J july actually i'll be going back out to pick it up I'm going to guess probably around July 1st. So I will definitely make sure that I do a short video on the way home demonstrating exactly how it works. And uh, I might even try to record doing a uh, setup and programming the unit if the mechanic doesn't already do it. So anyway, thanks for watching. Like I said, I'll be sure to do another video. So uh, please like and subscribe. We're getting closer to 100 subscribers which is good news. like to hear it. Keep them coming. Take it easy, everybody.